Now, an anti-Islamic group in the U.S. is using public transport to spread its message. Ads on buses are calling for the U.S. to end its support of all Muslim countries. Tom Ackerman has more. Twenty of Washington's buses are carrying this sign through the city streets for the next month. The message? That the Muslim Quran prescribes hatred of Jews. Together with a photo of Adolf Hitler meeting Haj Amina Husseini, the late Grand Mufti of Jerusalem and an outspoken Nazi ally. The ad is sponsored by Pamela Geller, a high-profile activist who's waged campaigns against the building of mosques in the U.S. She says Islam is a danger to America. And this may be an uncomfortable truth. This is a call, there's a call for this genocide of uh, the slaughter of non-Muslims. Uh, it, it's a holy, it, 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 it's in the Quran. Geller says her ad, which also demands ending U.S. aid to all Muslim countries, was provoked by this one opposing U.S. aid to Israel. A pro-Palestinian group recently posted it on the city's buses. But Muslim civil rights groups say Geller and her allies are not only distorting Islam, but agitating for religious conflict. The hate atmosphere that they generate uh, leads to things like vandalism of mosques and discrimination against uh, American Muslims. And it harms our society. Hate is corrosive to any society. And that's what Pamela Geller is promoting. The anti-Islamic ads have drawn disapproval, but they enjoy protection under the U.S. Constitution's First Amendment provision of freedom of speech. Washington's Transportation Authority tried to turn down a previous set of anti-Islamic ads by Geller's group. But a federal court ruled that as public property, the buses could not be subject to political censorship. The Council on American-Islamic Relations' response to Geller's ads, free copies of the Quran for anyone to examine its message for themselves. Tom Ackerman, Al Jazeera, Washington.